What is up and I welcome each and every one of you back to a brand new video. We are playing Portugal, but unlike last time, I woke up this morning and chose violence. Yes, I woke up this morning on the wrong side of the bed and said, you know what? Fuck my computer. I'm absolutely going to destroy it today. So I loaded up a game. I got the yet not another earth map pack mod if I can find it. Yes, right over there. I chose giant and I put 30 civilizations on the map. That is right. We are playing Portugal. We are playing, uh, I think his name is Zhao the Third, who looks like every evil rich Disney villain. And as you can see right here, you gain one trade route when a civilization is met. And I intend to exploit that to the fullest. In any case, this is a really good start. It took me 30 minutes to load into the game. I'm not, I don't, I have a $2,000 computer and it took me 30 total minutes to load into this game. It was ridiculous. I even had to lower my graphics to medium. It was absolutely insane. We are going to go sailing first, as always. We do have a pretty good start, though. Thank God I didn't have to reroll like a Tundra start or something. We have plenty of three food, three production tiles. And as you can see, it is taking about three years every turn to load. About 20 turns in, I'm already going to have a wife and kids. And I'm already going to be a grandfather, actually. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty nice. Let's continue moving. I would go over Jow's abilities, but I feel like everybody already knows what they are. We're actually going to go for bananas first, because who doesn't love bananas? Uh, me, actually. I don't like the taste of bananas whatsoever. Let's just hope there's not like an early civilization who starts right beside us. This is an archipelago map, so we should be able to, you know, trade with almost every city. I would hope so. You know, maybe late game we'll put in, like, if we survive late game, obviously. We'll put all our trade routes in, like, one city and see how big we can get the city. Uh, crap. I have to deal with the spearmen if I want to get across the archipelago. This is gonna suck. My god. Uh, I hope you're all having fantastic days. And before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Did I tell you guys to subscribe? Because that is something you should definitely be considering. We'll hit next turn. Oh boy, there is Vietnam, and it does look like she started right beside us. Oh, oh, I wanted to sample her hospitality. Oh no. Well, I guess I don't get to see where she lives. Let's just keep going. We're going to keep fortifying this warrior. The good news is we do get a trade route, which is kind of nice, I guess. I'm going to keep healing this warrior. I do want to take this encampment for myself. I don't have any game modes enabled because I didn't want to. Uh, my game would have already taken... Already took so long to load. I didn't want to take another 13 years. And that is actually a godlike city place. A nice canal. So we're going to get a nice settler immediately. We'll hit next turn. I do believe we are going to have to go for an early war this game. In all likelihood. Uh, is this... <laughs> is this game going to... Oh my god, this game is not loading, huh? I could risk it. Let's do it. Oh my god! God! Please don't kill him. Oh, thank God she's retarded. Oh my God, thank God for the deity AI. They're so stupid. <laughs> They're so stupid. What are you doing? That was a free spearman. Oh my God, I love it. Vietnam actually has a city. Oh, I can't settle this canal city. Oh my God. All right, switch things up. Are right, we going to get one trireme and then we're going to go animal husbandry. Hmm. There are going to be horses here? Absolutely not. There's no chance. No, there's absolutely no chance. So we are actually going to go for an iron working rush as much as I hate to. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I don't think we can do that, actually. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go archer into wheel rush. Yes. I'm going to continue building the settler, obviously. Uh, but yeah, we're not going to be able to get this canal city. In fact, we're going to probably have to put a city up there. Loyalty is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, uh, it is taking way too long to load this. We're going to heal this guy. You move over there, I guess. We'll... Do you have... Uh... No, I wanted you to finish sailing so we can get some boats. Then we'll go archery into... Crap. Boats, archery, and then we'll go for heavy chariots. Vietnam does have massive defensive bonuses, so I don't know how we're going to fare against her. Uh, let's just... Oh my god, this game is not loading whatsoever. All right, let's keep moving with you. They have a city of Huey, so even boats aren't going to work. There's no point in going for sailing. Let's go archery into, like, bronze working. We'll keep moving. Yeah, they do. They don't have a lot of marshes, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we'll actually run and continue finding the rest of their cities and where they are settled. Okay. Then I'm actually going to keep this slinger as defense in Lisbon. One, two, three. There is literally nowhere to settle any of my cities, is there? 
Yeah, I'm going to have to settle this city right over here. It's not a terrible city, but it's not a very good one either. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep the Slinger in Lisbon just in case they decide to do something funny. We'll hit next turn. Uh, crap. Okay, they do have... If we could, if we could somehow, there's no way, no, there's literally impossible for us to get a horse resource. I'm only going for archers because archers are broken. We're going to go God King. Actually, God King isn't worth it this game. There's like 30 sieves. All the pantheons are going to be gone by the time I get there. We will go craftsmanship and then we're just going to pray that we have at least one iron resource nearby. Uh, oh yeah, it does seem like they are going to come for me. Hmm. Oof, this is going to be rough it seems like. You fortify, you continue moving, we'll hit next turn. Yeah, this doesn't look... Well, they don't seem to be wanting to go for my throat yet. And my god, it is taking so long to load these turns, it is absolutely insane. Let's keep moving, there is their Thang Long, and it is on the coast, so I might actually get a boat after I get my units that I need. If we just take out Vietnam, we should have a good foothold for at least 6 or 7 cities. Considering that this is like a 20 civ map with 30 civs, that is pretty good. Although I did reduce the amount of city-states, so there is that. Uh, let's continue building slingers so we can immediately upgrade them into archers. Then after that, I think I'm just going to go to war with Vietnam immediately. We're going to have like four or five archers. We're going to have this choke point over here. Then we can just bop, bop, bop everybody we see. Yes, okay. There's animal husbandry. Like I said, they do have horses. That could be an issue. Um, all right, then we'll continue moving. We're just going to go for war carts because I don't think we're even going to have uh, iron, iron nearby. And even if we do, it might take a little too long to build some iron. I think we are going to go for a great general this game. Yes, you can move in there because we are going to get enough money to buy a warrior if we need to. I'm just going to explore the Vietnam's last... Yep, here it is. Yeah, that warrior's dead. Alright, there it is. They declared war on me. Surprise war. Oh my god, I'm so surprised and shocked and baffled and in disbelief. Uh, okay, we're not gonna be- we're gonna be able to get a slinger and a warrior next turn. Lisbon should live until then. We're gonna settle the city of Coimbra right over there as we intended. We're gonna fight the scout, and let's put in work towards another slinger. If we kill a slinger, we're gonna have a boost- if we kill a unit with the slinger, we'll have a boost to archery. Hit next turn. Next turn, we'll get a scout, move him on the hill, and then buy a warrior. Yes, okay. They should not- yeah, we have so much rough terrain, there is no way they're gonna be able to take any of our cities. This is good, actually, because what we can do- you can move over there- here in Lisbon, oh, well, I'm retarded. I forgot I needed 160. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Uh, here in Lisbon, you can actually get a... Get another slinger. Yeah, we'll buy a warrior here. Shouldn't be able to do two... Oh, wow, they can actually move three tiles. That is shocking. All right, then. Uh, I'm gonna move the slinger here, actually, to take care of their warriors. Yeah, there still really is no, like, threat with them. We're gonna buy a warrior. 23 combat strength in the city. Fight him, fight him. How the hell do they have three movement speed, though? Does Vietnam get a boost to, towards movement speed? I think they might get a boost in, like, rough terrain. Yeah, I'm actually fairly certain they do. Yeah, they get one movement speed if they are in rough terrain, and they get five combat strength for fighting units in marshes. Is it just marshes? Yeah, I feel like it's more than that. This is a damaged unit, and I still get a major defeat with the warrior. So this is really a map that is very, very well suited to Vietnam, quite honestly. Yeah, okay, that's not good right there. God damn, these guys are strong. All right, I... Oh, well... Oh my god, I thought I lagged out for a second. Yeah, you're gonna go back to Coimbra. You're gonna fortify. Uh, right over here, can we kill this guy? I doubt it. Yeah, Vietnam is just in a, such an advantageous position. Actually, if I hit you with you... And then I'll hit you with the slinger. He might get promoted, but at the very least, next turn we'll have like an extra slinger to help. Let's hit next turn. Yeah, killing their units are going to be extremely difficult, especially if they get a boost towards... If they get uh, the first promotion, that gives you seven combat strength. It's pretty insane. Uh, for right now, though, we're just going to wait till we get archers. Archers should be extremely effective. Uh, we're not going to do anything stupid right now. We're just going to sit back, get whatever promotions we can. Slinger's going to back out. We're going to fortify the warrior. And here, as much as I would love, we're going to get ironworking soon. We just need slingers right now to upgrade into archers, quite honestly. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to build slingers right now. We're going to build a few warriors as well. Okay, yeah, like I said, they're just going to promote. Um, okay. Alright, how are we... How much damage do we... We do a decent amount of damage, quite honestly. 
my units are close to promotion, so I might as well, like, even if Vietnam gets promotions, they're going to do something stupid and just kill their units. Uh, all right, you can actually fortify there. We'll hit next turn. I'm going to build maybe one or two boats. We, Thang Long is actually very vulnerable. It has two spots where you can attack with a boat from. So we're definitely going to build a few triremes to help out. But first, I think we're going to go iron working, bronze working, just to see if we have iron, because I feel like we'd have at least one iron resource. Uh, this is going to be a very long and drawn out war, though. That is for sure. Let's give you volley. Uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to do too much against these cities. They're only going to be able to attack from two tiles. Yeah, this scout is just doing a lot of damage, but nothing we can't handle. I'm actually going to move this warrior out to finish off that uh, warrior dude. If I move this, if I move any of my units out from the city of Lisbon or into like a vulnerable position, it's going to suck. Yeah. Here in Lisbon, let's actually put out an archer. And then here, oh yeah, <laughs> we're not going to be able to do anything with this guy. Ah, oh, crap. All right, you stay fortified there. Now you get a promotion. Probably should have moved out that slinger. I'll oh, build an archer though. Here you can actually attack him. Nice, we'll hit next turn. This guy is almost definitely dead. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I built a second archer here, and they just brought in all their units, and like there was nothing I could have done in that situation. You're going to fortify. Ooh, yeah, they could definitely move and attack. Wait, they have three movement speed, correct? And that's one, two, three, four. So I think I can move the slinger out and be safe. And then we could start moving our units like that, and then you can actually attack him. Yes, because we'll be able to attack with this warrior and that warrior. It shouldn't kill me, and even if it does, I will be able to eliminate most of his units. Yes, okay. I want to kill this guy so badly. Oh, there it is. More lag. I love it. Um, crap. Next turn, I can get some archers, honestly, and that could be a game changer. If I move here, I take out the warrior... I think I should still be fine, though, because if he attacks two units against one, I'd only I'd take a one-for-one one trade. And I feel like at that point, taking out a well-promoted warrior is good. And then you can attack him. You can move in over there. You can move in over there. So if he decides to take out... He's not going to take out the Slinger. I don't think he has the combat strength to. He's going to have 30. Actually, he might. We'll see. We'll see. We'll hit next turn. Let's see what he does. In any case, these two warriors should be dead. All right, we did lose that warrior. Again, this is just such a big pass, and they have such an advantage. We are going to have to lose units this game. Um, I could fight him. Here, you're definitely going to attack him. Uh, if I attack with these three, this warrior definitely dies. And if this guy attacks, he'll die as well. Hmm. All right, let's, let's first... We are definitely going to attack with this warrior. Can you attack... We'll attack with you and finish him off. Oh, yeah, and then we can move this guy out of the way. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we'll hit next turn. I'm hoping he attacks. Suicide, please. No. All right. There's Brazil. Perfect. What I'm going to do... Uh, Brazil has a mat. Yeah, we've pretty much eliminated Vietnam's uh, firepower. We have three slingers we can turn into archers. We'll build a few more archers. Yes, you can upgrade because you can attack across from here. You're going to fortify. You're going to move up. You're good over there. All right, we're going to move an archer up here and then over there, and then we could just uh, keep people in this kill zone up there. We're going to need, uh, we're going to have five archers. We're going to have uh, two melee units at the very least. Yeah, like, look at this. This warrior is most definitely dead. And now we're at a point where we are not going to lose any more units. Yes, because this is just going to be a kill zone over here. Like, look, boom, boom, he's dead. They're going to move in the slinger. He's going to die as well. I'll move this archer up there, so I'll actually move you in there. All right. Yeah, like I said, he's going to move an attack. That's fine. Yes, the Slinger can move and attack, but the Warriors cannot because it would cost four movement speed. And they only have three. All right, you're going to move up. You're making a good amount of gold that we can use to upgrade into Archers, which is perfect. You're going to do that, and then you're going to do that. Awesome. And then here in Lisbon... Yes, here in Lisbon, we'll actually get another Warrior because I feel like they might get walls. We'll hit next turn. The Slinger should be alive. All right, even if, they even if he decides to do that, he's dead. I think. At the very least, you won't be able to kill my slinger, essentially. Alright, there's mining. There's craftsmanship. Perfect. We'll actually put in a gauge. And right now, we are immediately just going to beeline political philosophy just to get... Well, not yet. We're going to go military tradition because flanking bonuses are guaranteed. We'll go oligarchy if we know we have iron nearby. So we'll keep the urban planning. We'll actually go for a gauge because it doesn't look like barbarians are going to be nearby. Move you up there. Move you up there. 
Uh, how much damage would we do? We do a decent amount of damage, quite honestly. Yeah, this dude still wouldn't be able to kill any of my units. We'll hit next turn, and next turn we have two archer attacks if he decides to flip out his units. It's fine, he's gonna move his units up there. I'll actually finish him off with the warrior. Finish off the that warrior. This, hmm, this warrior's gonna move in there. So actually, I'll back this guy up. Finish him off with the warrior. And then these three can still continue attacking that warrior, who should still be dead next turn. We'll hit next turn now. He has no health. This warrior can't move and attack in the same turn, so he should be fine. Yeah, so this guy gets a promotion. So what I'm going... Yeah, they're just in the kill zone right now. We have more combat strength than them, which is awesome. You move in through there. You attack like that. You're going to attack like that. We can get promotions, but it's not going to be worth it yet. I'm actually going to attack with the warrior because I can finish off this warrior. And then this warrior can't move one and two and attack my warrior that costs four movement speed Ooh, this city's a little too close we're gonna have to go for plenty of early war early on i'm actually going to attack with archers and warriors attack the city of huey and to thang long yes because i doubt we'll have iron okay yeah, this guy gets a promotion now so I, I can move there get a promotion move this guy in there attack with my slingers which should be nice yes okay boom boom Move there and go battle cry. Move there. And then I will actually give this guy a promotion. Yes, okay. Set next turn. He shouldn't be able to kill any of my units. In fact, he might just run over there. Nope, nope, he's an idiot. All right, then. This is DD AI for you, as always. So let's finish off the warrior. I did put out a video yesterday, and there were some comments about, like, uh, how I stole a settler and how that, like, helped my... You know, I was trying to make a case on, like, how to win early war on Deity, and I did steal a Settler, and that definitely helped me out tremendously. And people were also asking, like, oh, well, what if you don't start near iron or horses? Well, this is going to be one of those games, and even then, I'm just going to, like, like, look at this. You just need archers, quite honestly, in the early game. Uh, we'll build another archer. We'll upgrade this slinger. Essentially, you use archers to decimate their military. We are actually, I think we're going to go for masonry first. We will go for masonry because I feel like they will definitely get walls sometime soon. And actually in the city of Coimbra, I'm going to switch up to a warrior. We have more than enough archers. We'll go for masonry and then we will actually start moving our units up. It's going to take a while, but we can definitely do it. Fortify, fortify. Production-wise in the city of Lisbon. Uh, can I settle a city? No, I cannot. I could settle a city right there and be fine. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to need actually monuments. We do want to get oligarchy soon so our warriors can be effective. We now have, we're going to have six archers and three warriors. That should be more than enough, especially considering their military is decimated. And yes, they do settle the city of Danang. <laughs> That's a funny name. I don't even know why. It's just kind of funny. Does seem like the turns are loading a little bit faster, which is nice. Skip your turn. Skip your turn. Hit next turn. Ah, we're going to enter a dark age. Fudge. Okay. Should still be fine, honestly. We do have three times our military, so we're going to lose, like, uh, cities to, whatchamacallit, loyalty when we take them. So, yeah, it's going to be rough. Uh, let's move you up there. You can move there. You can pillage that farm. If you, you have plenty of farms for us to pillage, which is nice. Yeah, the problem is just this, just we're going to go through, like, such a mountain. We don't even have movement speed bonus to get through this, like, rough terrain, so it's going to suck early on. Um, Okay. I don't want to pillage these farms because I want this city to grow so we have less loyalty problems. Let's move in all our units. Perfect. We're good to go. We'll hit next turn again. Should be... Hue only has like 520 combat strength. Don't fight in the jungle. That's the big thing. Uh, let's see if they put any dudes in the city. I'm actually going to move there and there. And you can move in there. The slinger would die if he decides to move up. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. We'll hit next turn. I think he's going to move in the city and attack. That's what I would do. Nope, he's going to do something like that. Okay. All right, then. That's a um, pretty stupid idea, but you do you, I suppose. All right, we're going to move that archer there. Then we can two-shot this archer. And then you're going to move... I doubt this guy would be able to kill me. 28 combat strength. I would have... 11 actually he might so let's move these warriors here to defend for now until we can move this guy like over there all right we'll hit next turn now they do have chariots so they can potentially get walls soon we're gonna have so many archers we should be able to take the city of huey fast 
I do want to take the city of Huey and then take the city of Fang Long very quickly before we get into the Dark Age, although that is almost definitely not going to happen. All right, if I move there, and then there, and then there, city should be surrounded. You move in through there, and we'll get in the last few units nice and quick. And then here in the city of Coimbra, crap, let's get, a, let's get another monument. And then let's begin attacking the city as slow as we can. And then here, we don't need a settler, it's not going to help us out at all. Um, we'll actually move in the Slinger, because I doubt we'll be able to upgrade him anytime soon. The only thing I hope for is for Vietnam to be in a Golden Age, but I highly doubt it. Scouts really aren't going to do anything against me, especially with all these farms I can potentially pillage. Yes. Okay. Alright. Let's file. Let's get to the next turn. Come on! Alright, there's military tradition. Perfect. We're now going to get support and flanking bonuses. Pillage. Should have fortified first, but it is what it is at this point. Uh, you moving through there, you moving through there, you're coming in hot as well. Nice. I still have grievances. Yeah, I have 150 grievances against them. I could go for the scouts, but at this point, they're just cannon fodder. Fortified warriors should be able to defend against them, especially considering there is no rough terrain here that they can make use of. Actually, is that Marsh? Yes, it is. Okay, I, I stand corrected. Uh, right now, though, we're going to beeline political philosophy. We're not going to be able to meet three city-states. I don't even think we're going to be able to build a district. Let's just hit next turn. Huey should not be the hardest city to take. Alright, yeah, they're just suiciding onto me. Okay, there's the wonder. Huey 6 population, though, man. I There is a chance if this city's low population that even a Dark Age wouldn't affect us too badly. But in any case, let's just continue the attack. City surrounded. There really is nothing to worry about. Uh, you can move in there, and then you move there and attack. If they spawn in a unit here and kill this guy, we can easily just uh, revenge kill, I suppose. Yes, we're getting masonry for the walls, for the uh, battering rams, in case they get walls. Could attack the city, I don't think that's the smartest idea, we'll hit next turn. We'll have five archer attacks, even with the... Okay, take your delegation. You're like 37 to 20 when it comes to heavy chariot, but I also heal five. So, it's like a little more effective than it would seem. Yep, we'll just continue fighting with the archers, boom, 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 boom. And then we'll move you in through there, move you in through there. Um, I'm going to fortify for one last turn and then take the city. Yes. We'll hit next turn. Next turn is definitely we'll take the city. And if this cart attack decides to attack like he does, uh, yeah, we should be able to actually kill him, quite honestly. Depends on how many archer shots it takes to take the city. If I could just do three archer so shots with the warrior. Like one. Two. Don't think we'll be able to take the city, so we are going to have to take this third archer shot. And then we actually should be able to take the city with one of these guys. Hmm. You should be fine. Wow! That was unexpected. What? How does that happen? They had no combat strength. Oh my god, that is bull. The city was li literally zero health. Come on, that is that is absolute bull. Oh my god, let's just get in another war. This is ridiculous. That was absolutely, positively ridiculous. If they get walls this turn, I'm, I'm just going to shoot myself. Right? Yeah, like, look at this. I mean, he still does lose the war chariot, but we should... Like, I could understand losing this warrior. I did take the risk, but the, the city was at zero health. How the hell do I lose the second warrior? Now I'm in a dark age, man. This sucks balls right now. Alright, well, in any case... <clears throat> let's make sure he's dead this time. I can't even attack the city because that's Marsh. My god. Alright, just... Alright, you can actually promote to Aerostorm now, dedication-wise. They're in a normal age, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, yeah, moving through there. Just get the gypsum. There's masonry built. We'll actually... Yeah, right after the warrior... Actually, how long for you to build a battering ram? Ten turns? What about you? Five turns, and then one, two, three. It would be better for you, actually. Yeah, you build the battering ram right after. All right, then, research-wise, we're now going to go for iron work. Uh, no. Should not have iron. Let's go one turn for sailing just to get boats to help against Thang Long. We'll hit next turn. City's dead this turn, no doubt about it. Oh my god, actually, it actually might not be. The city has zero health. We should be able to take this. Oh my god. Alright, we're actually going to throw every archer attack we have on the city. How much damage do we do? Okay, for health. Okay. Just gonna make sure the city's dead. No way you die. Thank you, my god. 
BOA, seven turns. If I keep the city, it is at a respectable 20. We'll be able to actually get state workforce and get a governor and reduce that even further. Let's get a monument to reduce that even further. Uh, yes, after that, we will actually go for the wheel. We will upgrade you, and then we'll move everybody towards Thang Long. You can continue moving. Uh, you build a... Yeah, right after the monument, build a galley. Okay. There's a timer. I'll go on for like five-ish minutes. Yeah, I'll go on for another four minutes. Um, we do have mining, so we can't actually chop out the ram. Forgot about that. I think I might make friends with Brazil because I am in no way prepared to fight a war against them. Yeah, there's just no way I'd be able to defend in a war. All right. I will keep one of my archers in that city because I have to. Brazil, friends. Thank you. All right, they should not declare war on me now. We'll chop out the battering ram. We'll move this warrior in. Uh, Hue, 13 turns. We'll actually be able to get a governor in that amount of time. And if we need to, I guess we could buy something. Here, we can go for the city of Da Nang. Plains Rainforest, we can. Yeah, we actually can. So let's, let's actually go for it. Yeah, it should be very easy. Loyalty-wise, it might struggle as well, although I feel like it won't struggle as much. Uh, we'll heal the warrior for a little bit, and then you guys can all just attack the city. We'll hit next turn. We'll take the city, move on to Thang Long. If we lose Huey, we can always come and take it back. It is a free city-state after all. And then take this last city, and after that, we should be okay. All right. Let's go. Let's move. Let's move. All right. You have low health, so I'm going to move you there. You can move in there. You can move in there, and then you move in to replace, yeah, six turns until loyalty's gone. That's going to be rough. That is going to be rough. Let's boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we should be able to take the city nice and easy. I'll go there, and then you can chop out our first trireme. We'll hit next turn. Anyway, it does seem like it's going to struggle a little bit. What is the reason for its, uh, it's the amenities. It's mainly because of the amenities. Happiness level, negative six, yeah. It would actually be a decent city to have if we had amenities. Uh, we don't, though. Is there anything I can do to change that, Brazil? You have turtles. They're willing to do it for 36 gold. I think I will. Your amenities are now two, so the loyalty should be a bit better next turn. All right. Um, I'll actually move out the warrior now. Yeah. Yeah, city's dead next turn. Uh, you move in there. You move in there. Nine turns now. That's fine. Uh, here in the city of Lisbon, we're actually going to get out our first galley. We're actually going to chop part of him out. Continue moving. Continue moving. We'll hit next turn. Nice. Very nice. The reason they started so soon is because it's an archipelago and it's supposed to be 20 civs with the mod I used. But I decided to put in 30. I did remove plenty of city-states. Uh, but apparently that doesn't change anything because the AI does start with three, uh, th crap, why am I so stupid? It starts with three, three cities. Yes, it starts with three free settlers. Uh, you move in through there. We'll finish off the city. And then yeah, you can actually move up there and prepare for Thang Long. We'll move in this warrior as well. Move in the battering ram. We're friends with Brazil. They're not going to declare war on us unless something crazy happens. All right, we'll take the city of Da Nang this turn. I'll make sure it's at zero again because uh, I don't want to lose another five warriors just attacking. I just can't believe that. The city was at zero health with the second warrior I attacked. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm not even getting experience from this. Yeah, the city's definitely dead. Let's attack it. There we go, city of Da Nang. Perfect. It's at 11 turns until loyalty problems. Let's get the monument. Uh, is this, this should not be Plains Hill. This is Grassland, okay. Move you up there. There's a warrior in there. We should be fine. Move you in there. Move you in there. The city of Huey rebels in two turns. Let's move the, we should be able to put a governor in there, though. Three turns now. Loyalty-wise, it's falling by five. I think the governor helps by about six or eight. Can't be too sure. Stay there. We'll hit next turn. Um, okay, nine seconds until the timer. I'm actually going to make this a little longer because it has been one of those kinds of games. Uh, okay, we're going to get our first trireme. It should help siege the city of Thang Long. Awesome. Nice, there's our first trireme. There's early empire, and then Limitai is going to be tremendously helpful as well. Uh, the other thing, I think everything else is fine. Yes, so Limitai should actually, yeah, no more loyalty issues. 
Let's see, City of Huey. Loyalty's in three turns. If I move in a guy like Pingala, Huey should be fine now. Yep. Denong should be fine as well. We don't need any warriors yet. Uh, so we will attack with you. You can move. You can move up and attack. Actually, I don't think the catapult's going to attack because the AI doesn't usually attack with catapults. Um, if they do, it's fine. For right now, though, I'm just going to attack with these guys. And I do have the trireme coming in. Let's get in some more galleys so we can use them for exploration as well. Plus, there's nothing to build in these cities. Don't need war carts anymore, so let's go for some districts. Yes. A, yeah, we'll go for writing. We, don't, we need irrigation because there's silk in Vietnam cities. And then we'll go for celestial navigation. All right, we'll hit next turn. I should actually label this how to win an early wand. This, I think, is a much better reflection because this is just warriors and archers against deity, which is tremendous. None but city state has been defeated. That's fine. All right, okay. Yeah, this has definitely been a much, much better video. Let's continue moving. Uh, yeah, you can attack. You'll move up. You can move up and promote next turn. You can. Let's actually attack the city of Thang Long. Move up there. Stay fortified. I don't think I can move you out of... What's your loyalty like? I think it's only four. It's rising by four. And the governor gives how much? The governor gives about eight. Okay, so I have to keep this warrior in the city. Actually, no. I'm stupid. Six turns. It's fine. Well, is it? We'll see. We'll see. Um. Okay. Wow, okay. I was not expecting you to die like that. A 16 gold per turn? Give me, actually, what about, okay, what about that? And then, like, six. Four, two, one, nice. Trump art of the deal right there. All right, here in Huey, I'm actually going to buy another unit while I can. Yeah, they do have plenty of decent, strong units. Um, Moving through there, this warrior can actually heal for, a, oh, no, you can promote, can't you? Eight turns, that is fine. Yeah, you finish him off. Here I will buy another warrior. And then I could buy one here in the next few turns as well. Alright, nice. You move in through there. You can move there. You move there, and then we'll continue attacking the city of Thang Long. Nice. And then the Trirem's gonna take a while to get there. Battering Ram should get there soon. We weren't in a dark age, this would be much simpler, and the catapult's going to be an issue as well. Yeah, catapult's actually a major, major issue. Crap. We do have to take the city, though. There is no doubt about it. Um, okay. We can actually just pillage that. Move in the warrior. Ram's coming in hot. We'll promote you and then move you, and I think I can promote this guy, so I will. And then, yeah, you guys continue attacking the city while you can. And then you can actually finish him off. I think I have to move this warrior up. Yeah, we need him. City, six turns, five turns. It's fine for now. We're getting more boats out, which is nice. Mm, yeah, these catapults somehow have so much combat strength. It's insane. Okay, I think I might actually... I don't want to ask for Brazil's help in this war, honestly. Yeah, I feel like that's just going to be more bad. Yeah, if they take this city, then we'd, uh, we'd be kind of screwed. Um, okay. You move in through there. You fortify. You move in there. Crap, I wish I could surround the city. Uh, move through there. Move in the warrior. Then we can continue attacking with these guys. Would attack with you, but I need you right there. Okay, you have three movement speed. Next turn. Turn after that. Turn Okay, a few turns. We should be able to surround Thang Long completely. Uh, four turns. Crap. Five turns. I'm going to keep this guy fortified there. Okay. All right. Another catapult. What are you doing? Just buying these guys. Uh, I think I might... Yeah, I'll move him back in the city soon because he does make it positive loyalty. All right. There's state workforce. I can't go conscription for money. I do need Lumentai, though. Uh, we're just gonna keep things as is. Here, you built another trireme. Awesome. Get me a granary just to help you grow a little bit. We'll move you. Governor-wise, we will now get... Oh, this is perfect, actually. Get Magnus and put him in Denying. Then that city's positive loyalty. Cool. Alright, here. Hmm. 
continue attacking the city. Yes. Okay. I'll move this guy up along with you. And I will attack you. I will also attack you. And then I will also... I'm going to lose an archer, I think, but I feel like it's worth it. I will be able to take one of their units with me. All right, Egypt declared war on Vietnam. Perfect. Yeah, I did lose one of my archers. It's fine. This is one of those games. Just so much rough terrain. It was every single thing was in Vietnam's favor this game. There was nothing I had that benefited me. No strategic resources. No, you know, they declared war on me. Everything here was in Vietnam's benefit right now. Let's continue moving the trireme. We'll continue moving that trireme. We'll get a granary in the city, and I'm actually going to buy that tile. Yes, okay. City, two turns. Okay. Alright. Trireme there. You can attack him. Then you can move there. And then you can pillage. And then you guys can again continue attacking the city. Be able to surround it next turn. It's going to be a long video. Very much so. Uh, we'll stay fortified there. You can go in there. We'll hit next turn. It is going to be a very long video. I do want to make sure I like wrap the war up though. Alright, I'm going to keep the battering ram there because they are not building walls. Nope. And if I could just get this catapult out of the city, I'd be able to blitz it. No. Okay, I do have to move this warrior back to Huey though. Yeah, you stay fortified in there. Uh, this guy's just obviously going to be cannon fodder. Yeah, you're going to move in there. You're going to fight him. You're going to finish him off. It's a catapult down and a promotion. So boom, boom. City surrounded next turn, and the trireme does a tremendous amount of damage. Awesome. We'll keep the battering ram out because they're not building walls. And if I can move that catapult out of the city, that'd be great. Uh, we only need two triremes. I'll send that guy to go explore and get his trade routes. There is Egypt, who is at war with Vietnam, and I do actually have to send this warrior to go steal that city. Yep. Yep, okay. Yeah, this warrior and these trireme, yeah, the trireme's a melee unit, it should be fine. Alright then, move you up there. Um, here, you can move in there, and then boom, boom, uh, I can't surround the city. We should be able to do a tremendous amount of damage though. Nine turns, it's fine. Keep you fortified for a bit in there. And then we'll just move you there, and then we'll hit next turn. We're going to take Thang Long and end the video. Yes, Egypt does seem to be... Yeah. The good news is, the warriors are going to get decimated by her. Although this city is a little bit strong. I'm going to promote this guy and then move him in there, just for uh, defense sake, I guess. Yes, okay. Battle cry. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, who might have to wait another turn. Yeah, you're going to stay fortified there. Move you up there. Oh my god, thank god. Can I get open borders with Brazil? Please, make a deal. Open borders, I'll give you like one... I'll give you like nine gold pieces. Nine doubloons. Awesome. Probably could have went for lower, but let's just get going. Nice. We do have four trade routes and foreign trade. We're going to get these trade routes soon. They'll change the game completely. We'll take Thang Long this turn, finally. What are you doing getting another catapult? You know it's not going to work. All right. Coin known. Hmm. I don't want Egypt to get that city. Uh, I might, it, it might be inevitable. All right. Moving through there. City is surrounded. So that might have actually done more harm than good. Boom. 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 Take it to zero. And then you can finish it off. Nice. There we go. City of Thang Long. All these cities are going to be positive loyalty now, so I can just move in, everybody. Uh, this city now, you can get a nice plus two campus right there. You're going to need it. Repair your monument. Here, we can send you up north. This city should be fine. Yep. Uh, you can continue moving. I do not want Egypt to take the city. Oh, they only have a warrior. Just go for the warrior, Vietnam. Go for the warrior. What are you doing? You d Oh my god, this dude's actually retarded. He is on crack. What is going on, man? Oh my god. That that was that was you just fumbled that. Oh crap. Alright. Just stay fortified. At least I won't get the debuff for just completely wiping Vietnam from the map. And we do have some good places to settle, quite honestly. Alright, let's continue moving. Actually, we don't need that. We need traders. 
Everybody here build a trader. Everybody that can just build a trader. All right, nice. We'll hit next turn. Yeah, they just took that city. Yeah, fuck you, Vietnam. Piece of shit. I don't get any. I don't get any grievances for that, right? I shouldn't, because Egypt was the one to take him out. I'm gonna make friends with Egypt because there's no way I'm going for round two. Electric Boogaloo. Uh, can't settle any of these cities, which sucks. I am going to be able to settle a lot of this continent, which I am definitely going to go for. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably a 40-minute video. I'm not going to know until I stop recording. Let's just make friends with Egypt real quick, please. Thank you. I do have grievances against them somehow. I have no idea why. Oh, the final capture of this city. Okay, we'll explore with this guy. Next time we come back, we are going to continue exploring and just take all of these continents for ourselves. We're going to build the trade routes. We're going to buy trade routes. We're going to get plenty of gold, as is the case for Portugal. And uh, yeah, after that, we should be well on the way to victory. In any case, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.